We have some storms out towards the Chicagoland area. Find out if they're going to be moving eastward in towards northeastern Ohio for your Monday night into Tuesday, or if we're going to be drying things out and seeing some of this dry weather take effect. Those answers will be coming to you right now. The First Energy Stadium Tower Cam showing plenty of cloudy skies, only a tiny little break in between anything. I'm forecaster Brian Ivey. This is pretty much the description that you'll see if you look out the window anywhere in northeastern Ohio. And some spots are seeing rain as we look on the 3D Max Doppler radar network towards Painesville, up towards Geneva, also down into Welshfield, Twinsburg, also seeing some rain showers move through the area as we pan on down towards the south. Hudson into Akron, Cuyahoga Falls, Mogador saw this moderate shower move through a little bit ago. Canal Fulton, Maslin, North Canton also seeing some rain. Millersburg, Kilbuck, Fredericksburg saw it's moving towards Beach City, Strasburg, and Stone Creek, and also Fresno at this time. It moved through Coshocton just a little bit ago. So all these showers are due to this trough of low pressure that is currently moving through our area, bringing us many cloudy skies. Once this area of precipitation moves through, we will generally see things really start to clear out of the area as we uh, basically see that continue to push away off towards the east. And then there is a little bit of sunshine evident in northwestern Ohio and southeast Michigan. This will not really be moving in. We're just going to see these mainly cloudy skies. It's a 95% cloudy skies with just a couple minute breaks of sunshine in between. But dry weather off towards the west, that will be moving in for sure. Let's take a look right now at what we got going on across the whole country. Not too much to speak of. Stationary front over the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. That will eventually be allowing some warmer air to move in towards us. Otherwise, some storms off the coast of the east coast of the United States. Overall, generally quiet across the country. Yesterday, or I should say, yeah, yesterday we picked up about 20th of an inch of rainfall, putting us now at 1016 on the year in terms of precipitation. Yesterday's temperatures were 58 and 48, a little bit below average again in terms of the average high temperature at 64 degrees. Today we are looking at a high temperature of about 65 to 67 degrees with those showers around. Best chance will be through the first half of the afternoon as we're going to really go isolated and very slight chance of any showers couple peaks of sun but again mainly cloudy expect mainly cloudy skies throughout the whole day with temperatures again rising up through the mid 60s with some variable winds around tonight mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies definitely going to hold on to a decent amount of cloud cover with a chance of fog developing just like we saw this morning this is what we call vorticity it's a energy and wind pattern aloft at about 18 to 20,000 feet in the atmosphere it's going to spin off this little branch of energy you could see spinning around the center of the country by the end of the week and the weekend this is going to also bring some cold weather and a lot of precipitation with it luckily it's going to stay off towards our west this is the temperature anomalies uh, temperatures above average in the or oranges and the reds and below average there in the greens. This is going to descend. You can see in the violets and the pinks, this really cold air wrapping around the center of that cold low pressure system. So that even can mean some snowflakes. But again, well west of our area, we're not going to have to worry about that. We're going to stay relatively above average through this week into the first half of the weekend before we deal with some cooler than average air when this cold core low system finally moves overhead. I was smiling when I made the seven day forecast and here is why. Look at that, completely dry through Friday with temperatures 75 Tuesday, 78 Wednesday, 74 Thursday and 72 Friday with partly cloudy to partly sunny skies. When the weekend comes around, there will be a shower chance, but right now no washout expected and temperatures 68 there on Saturday and then Sunday, we're looking at 60 degrees. So overall, great week, get out and enjoy it.